And welcome to Ozarks Live. Look at the beautiful flowers. Yep, thanks to Linda's flowers as always. Beautiful arrangement for sure. Nice. What else you got there? I, I got the, I get this right here, and I have to make sure that I don't hold it upside down. We need okay. to show you this because you can get one too. Mm -hmm. Yes. This, How about that? This is a collector's flag, uh, Kansas City Chiefs 60th season, and there's only one place you can get one of these this Friday. See, it's even movable. This Friday. <laughs> At Area McDonald's. Yeah. And the money raised is going to Ronald McDonald House of the Ozarks. Five dollars, and you get one of these. Of course, if you want to give twenty dollars or thirty or fifty or a hundred or five thousand, you can get one of these flags and show that you're a big time Chiefs fan. Yep, and you can help out Ronald McDonald House. And these are nice flags too. I mean, if yeah. you if you go to the game and hold these up in the stadium, you won't miss it. There are these little grommets on yeah, the end, so, so you, you can, could hang it, mm -hmm. you know, on your porch, or you can fly it from your car. Doesn't matter to me what you do with it, but it's really cool. So anyway, get them before they're gone yeah. because they're going to run Friday, out. There is a limited supply, so if yep. you think you're going to pick one up Saturday, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't count on it. I, I wouldn't either. So get out Friday to Area McDonald's and kick in five bucks. You get a flag, and it's all going to help. Families that need the Ronald McDonald House of the Ozarks. This is true. And speaking of that, um, I'm reminding myself that it's Tuesday because yesterday, of course, was right. Labor Day Monday. So we feel like it, you start feeling it's Monday. <laughs> no, it's not. It's Tuesday. Yeah. But yeah. yesterday, you and I were at Silver Dollar City, yes. um, and we helped um, Muscular celebrate. Yeah, Muscular Dystrophy celebrate the firefighters that raised a couple of hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. But Just passing the boot. So thank you. Two and a quarter, you. I think yeah. it was. And thank, thank you, you to all the Ozarks for, for chipping in. On Generous that. people around here, for sure. Okay, yeah. we have a full show for you today. It is Tuesday, as we mentioned, of course. So our dynamic duo is here, Will Worsham and Bruce Porter. Plus, we get to see a performance from the Springfield Little Theater. But before we get to all that, here's what's on the radar. All right, what you got? You now, go. Okay, you, you might have already heard of Harley Davidson's new electric motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they even add the sound of a traditional Harley to you know, complete the experience. Well, Harley has taken things one step further. They are now showing off prototypes for a line of electric bicycles. Of course yep. they are. Yeah, you heard it right, a Harley Davidson bicycle. The plans are for three models starting at under $500 all the way up to like a high-end model at $10,000. Now, as expected, these bikes look a bit more rugged than your average e-bike, especially with the large tires and you know the raked angles and everything. It also leans toward more pedal input from the driver rather than just pushing a button to engage the motor. You got to pedal a while. Now, if this gets your motor running, remember these are only prototypes and are not available for sale. However, all signs point to being able to pedal start a Harley in the future. Will it be quieter? Probably. How could it not Except be? Except if I had one, I, I would pedal it around going, yeah. <laughs> make as much Making your own sound effects? That's it. No, and I would like it if it was quieter. Part. Okay. Yeah. Here's the best idea I have heard in a long time. You ready for this? All right. You know how Ohio State loves its football. It's oh, big skin, oh, oh, of yeah. course. And fans love pigs. Pork, right? Of course. Mm -hmm. Football fans always do. Mm -hmm. I think we've talked about this in on the radar before. But this is back, it's new and improved, and it's just in time for hungry football fans. The bacon vending machine. Ooh, I need change. I uh -huh. know, yes, you do. Uh, it takes bills also. This is genius. Oh. It is courtesy of the Ohio Pork Council. All you have to do is push a button to enjoy ready to eat bacon. Mm. Hello. The bacon vending machine also offers a touch screen interface with educational videos about Ohio's pig farming. Yeah, Which I'm sure will be a huge hit with fans who just want some bacon. They're like, you know, that's great. I think I'll watch this. Now, this particular bacon vending machine was also at Ohio State, but it was in one of the, the buildings okay. on the campus, okay? okay. Um, some students might take the time to learn about responsibly raised pork. Maybe they'll even change their major. They'll be an agri major. They're like, I'm so into this bacon, I'm just going to become a farmer or something. Um, by the way, either way, it doesn't matter to me, but Buckeye football never looked so good. Ever. This is a good thing. So Ohio State games may be on my radar just because they have bacon. Chiefs, Can we just do this If you're out everywhere? there listening, we yeah, it needs to be at Arrowhead. Well, you know, I saw some photos of this thing, and a lot of those are just a dollar, and they take bills. I would be standing there just, 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. Where can Just you keep find any? feeding them in, and, it's, and you walk away with all the bacon. Yeah, and apparently some early. students came up with the idea uh -huh. in that agriculture world that they have, and I thought, those students really need to be hired for full-time gigs. That's brilliant. It is, it is absolutely. Saying, yeah. All right, coming up, Will Worsham and Bruce Porter join us. Yes, they're here. Don't go away. Ozarks Live is just getting started. Come on over, guys.